Dropped out of college and got a job as a bike courier. Mostly just to piss off my parents. I was someone you'd never notice. Just a guy delivering packages to folks he'd never know. And then one day, the package found me. Thousands died. Five square blocks smashed into rubble. And at the center was me. Alive, but changed. But no one could have seen what was coming. Back then, Empire City was in quarantine. It had gone to hell. Other people with power started showing up, and it was my job to sort through it all, find out who had given me that package and why. Hell, even my best friend turned his back on me to try to get powers of his own. But in the end, I found the man responsible, Kessler. He explained everything through a vision of the future. A beast is coming, a monster only I can defeat, provided that I am strong and ready to face him. A month later, I met Lucy Quo. She somehow knew all about the beast. In fact, she had come to help me prepare. Claimed her friend Dr. Wolf had worked on the race fear prototype and that he could amplify my powers. All I had to do was go with her down to Numeray. I need those powers. The beast is coming. And I will be ready. Man, I tell you, Cole, that Agent Quo, she doesn't mess around, huh? First boat out of town? Chick's got some connections. This is gonna be a short-term visit, man. We're just gonna get in, I'm gonna get some new powers, and then we're gonna come right back. Come on, man, you deserve to relax. We're going to New Marais. Hey, I need to be back here and ready when it shows up, Zeke. Trust me, Cole, you will be ready when you're done working with Dr. Wolf. Work? Easy, Quo. When we get there, we're gonna be about the three Bs. That's beer, mm -hmm. boobs, and mechanical bulls. Gentlemen, I don't think that you understand the scope of what is going on here. What is going on? McGrath, we had a deal. This boat is leaving. Relax. We got time for this.
told me about you. I'm not gonna let it happen. Beast had drained me, broken my powers. It felt like the end. I almost wish it was. The beast had just put itself back together. And now Empire City is dead. Our ship ran for it. Fling south to New Marais. People kept their distance, whether from respect or fear. I don't know. Either way, I was alone. Others kept busy, acting out their routines as if it would make the world right again. But I knew better. I had been given powers to defeat the beast. I was strong. I was ready. I had fought it with everything I had wasn't enough. That needed to change. The next day I went to work. I helped Zeke create a device to focus my powers. Hell, he'd do anything to be friends like we used to be. Agent Quo gathered intelligence on the beast. Town after town was lost as it traveled down the coast. She also used her contacts to requisition a smaller boat. New Moray was in lockdown. Wouldn't let anyone in. We were going to have to sneak in through the swamp. I don't know if you've ever let someone down, got your ass kicked, or straight up failed. But those are the moments that define us. They push you further than you've ever thought possible and force you to make choices, no matter what the cost.
Hello, Cole. You know, when you go to talk to Wolf, everything is going to become completely... Zeke! Zeke, catch the engines! What's up? Militia blockade. If we get any close in there, artillery will sink us. Well, I guess it's time I go introduce myself. Wait up, man. Here she is. <laughs> and you're sure it's ready? Uh, I hope so. Give her a try. Oh, I'll be damned. Wow. Oh. Oh. What is that thing? I call it the amp. Good work, Zeke. Thanks, brother. Go have some fun. This is gonna make a hell of an impression. Hey, Quo. Does the NSA even know what you're up to with me? I took a leave of absence. My bad. I think we should be pretty by the number. The NSA plans to deal with the beast by deploying the military. Wolf has a better plan. You. He invented race spear technology. You want enough power to defeat the beast? He is your man. Expect more resistance. The militia controls everything going in or out of Numeray. God, how could they let a bunch of hick fascists take over their city? People do strange things when they're afraid. You shouldn't have come here, freak! Cole, looks like you could lower that bridge if you give it some power. Beats swimming. Just don't overcharge it. A fire could blow up the entire village. Yeah, it could. I could take all these guys out at once. Oh, yeah, and the women, and the children, and the pets. Thank you for showing some restraint. Help us. You know, healing these folks will help win them over. Oh, move! 
out of commission, but I bet there's more militia hiding out up ahead. Okay, let us know when it's clear. I created the militia, not for me, but for you, for your protection. You've had to make sacrifices in recent weeks. You've had to give up certain liberties, but it was only to provide security for you and your families. Now, isn't that worth any sacrifice? What are you being protected from, you ask? Freaks! Abominations! They exist, my friends. They are already among us. And they represent the greatest threat we have ever known. When I saw the danger to our fair city, I did not hesitate to act. I ask you all to find the courage to do the same. Please report unusual behavior by calling the militia's emergency hotline. Our survivors... All right, now we... What the hell happened to Okay, guys, clear to dock. Nice. We will come to you and then head up for Wolf's Lab. Militia sure has changed this town. Ain't nothing like it used to be. Ah, remember? Yeah. Yeah, I remember Numeray. Came here four years ago while learning how to climb. After the flood, half the buildings were abandoned. It was a haven for urban exploration. Hell, even Zeke banned up and gave it a try. Oh, it was great. See, in any other city you start to climb, you got maybe ten minutes before the cops show up. But here, well, police had their hands full with other things. Place was lawless. It was raunchy, and except for the hangovers, it was goddamn heaven. But not anymore. Now these redneck assholes strut up and down the street, eyeballing everybody, looking for deviants to punish. Tension's thick. People here, they're ready to explode. Somewhere in this gorgeous corpse of a town is the key to amping up my powers. These pricks, they're gonna try to get in my way, try to kill me to keep their town pure. I say bring it. Zeke, you moved that boat at the first sign of trouble. 
Hi, super spy. Uh, you expected a little action? Well, this is gonna be on guard after that stunt you pulled in the swamp. I know, I'd be pissed. <laughs> Why didn't you blow up those oil tanks in that camp? Would've made getting through a lot easier. Hey, I'm about to start torturing families just to make my life a little easier. Good, that's what I wanted to hear. You made the right choice. I'm impressed. You acted like a professional. <laughs> Let's go find a wolf. Hey, Dr. Wolf, I'm back in town. I have my brass. Good, very good. Unfortunately, I have a bit of bad news. What? Are you all right? Yes, but the militia searched my lab this morning and discovered the blast core I'd been hiding. Okay, stay in your lab. We'll swing by the West Lookout. Hit him with the grenade! I see him. What have I ever done? Do you mind clearing the way? Nice. The West Lookout's just up ahead. Yep, I see him. are back. They're trying to force the door to my lab. Listen, Wolf, I'm on my way. The grass! You're on your own. The black cord glows in purple. You cannot miss it. I'll find it. Go help Wolf.
know Wolf's in trouble, but you got time for this, right? Whoa, Wolf. Pretty sure I found it. Still at the lab? McGrath. The shards there. Oh, God. Wolf! I'm on my way. After Wolf. Thank God. We look just the same. Same as who? Kessler. The man who gave you your powers. I know who Kessler is. A at the beginning, we were friends. He told me all about his plans for you. And the beast. Well, then you know I failed. I couldn't stop it. Empire City is gone. Yes, and, and, and it won't stop it, uh, unless you expand your abilities. Become powerful enough to use this. Another ray sphere? No. Ray field inhibitor. I call it the RFI. Uh, think of it as an anti-ray sphere. So instead of giving powers, it takes them away. Precisely. With that device, you can combat the beast. Subtract his abilities. Keep it safe. Yeah. What about... about this? Oh, blast cores. They power the RFI. They're batteries for the same energy that fuels all genetic mutation. Pass a current through it, and its energy will release into the nearest conduit. Whoa, so this is gonna make me stronger. Oh, Lord, yes, and that's just the first. <laughs> Together we will defeat the beast. Oh, enough of the pep talk, Wolf. Let's do this.
right! Run, bitches! <laughs> what happened? Militia came back. They're starting to haul you guys away. Your quo's still off chasing the fellows with Wolf. So, uh, what happened? That old guy slipped you a roofie? No. <laughs> no, I actually think I might have a new power. Really? Come on, let's see what you got. Strut your stuff, Peacock. What's up, brother? Just spotted some cops poking around. With all the ruckus you've been causing, they might be looking for you. But think hard before you jump these guys. We need to make allies, not lose them. I'm tracking the guys who took Wolf, but it's gonna take a while. In the meantime, Cole, I think you should salvage some of the fallout from Wolf's lab. We want to get to it before the militia.
I spotted one of Wolf's carrier pigeons up near the top of the clock tower. I need you to get it. Sure. But, uh, why? Well, when Wolf was undercover with the First Sons, he used messenger birds to smuggle reports to his NSA contact, which was me. So, he's not like your significantly older boyfriend or something like that? I think the term that you're looking for here is father figure. Hey, it's cool. I'm not gonna do it. There's no need to kill it. Do you got any stun type powers? Now, there should be a thumb drive attached to the collar. Plug it into your phone. I've already sent you the encryption key. Agent Quo, I feel quite confident that only you will be able to decode these messages, and that they'll prove to be invaluable evidence in your case against the First Sons. The world needs to learn about what's happened. Efforts must begin immediately to repair the damage done by the ray sphere. Damage for which I am ultimately to blame. Share these recordings with your contact in Empire City. Time is short. It's a good start. I saw a whole flock of those birds escape from Wolf's lab after it blew. All right, I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah, oh, while you're at it, I spotted some rayocyte fragments near the tower. Ray what? You know, the chunks of Earth irradiated during ray sphere testing? Wolf seemed to think that you would know what to do with them. Oh, right. Yeah, we, uh, we called them blast shards. What the hell just happened, Cole? My body absorbs their energy. A couple more blast shards and I'll be ready to store more power. Well, those things could be anywhere. Wolf's collection went sky high when the lab blew. It's all right, I'll find him. Hey, listen, in that recording, Wolf mentioned you had a contact up at Empire City. You knew him. Actually, his name was John White. No way. The NSA had a vague idea of what conduits were. They scanned every single field agent, and both John and I had the gene. We were logical choices to infiltrate the First Sun, so he was assigned to Empire City, and I got Numeray. We worked together to maintain our covers. What did John tell you about me? Well, after the blast, his reports got a little sketchy. It all got kind of hard to believe. Of course, now that I've seen you and the beast... Yeah. Well, it's taking a turn for the strange, all right. Hey, uh... Remember back when we came here the first time? I got involved with, uh, ah, some unsavory characters. Yeah, yeah, a little penicillin, it all cleared up. Well, uh, now it's your turn. A couple of them still have a number. They're looking for some help from the Electric Man. Oh, God. I guess you're famous, pal. Even in the ass end of the South.
shoot. I I'll do whatever you want. I I'm not afraid, I swear. A week ago, the most catastrophic incident on American soil occurred in downtown Empire City. What began as a series of alleged explosions soon escalated into citywide devastation in what is now being called the Empire Event. Today, Empire City lies in ruins. No official numbers have been released, but the latest estimates put the death toll in the millions. The nation mourns, and we are all left craving answers. What caused this sudden destruction? Is the United States under attack? NSA Director Houston is leading an official investigation into the Empire event, but says their findings so far have been inconclusive. As a precaution, the nation's armed forces have been placed on high alert, and thousands of troops have been recalled from overseas to respond to the crisis. Whether the threat comes from terrorist extremists or some new kind of natural phenomenon, one thing is clear. The threat is ongoing and continues to move southward along the East Coast, leaving a path of devastation wherever it goes. Hey man, word is out. I got contacted by a cop and a junkie. Wow, that's quite a fan base. These people take you seriously, man. Helping them out will send a message. Look, Numeray is a fresh start for us. Clean slate. <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, these people pay attention. Especially when you got lightning coming out of your hands. Karma's a bitch. I get it. What you gonna do? I'm gonna send a message. Stop it! The militia gangs shooting up people they think are deviants at the nearby mansion. If you're a good man, like they say, you'll stop the militia and heal the wounded. Officers are taking fire. Give them support. Then capture one of the militia for questioning.
Damn, man. You hear that hippie-ass bucket drummer? Oh, I hate that crap. Do everyone a favor and put the fear of God into any street performer you find. I didn't know you hated the arts, pal. I just don't like being forced to listen to their music. Seriously, who does? I keep hearing your name around town, Cole. It's gonna be impossible to be anonymous much longer. People will start asking for help everywhere you go. Okay, well then let's hurry up and find Wolf. <sighs> I'm still on it. In the meantime, I think you should try flexing your powers a bit. Head for these coordinates. Wolf had speculated that absorbing blast cores might expose some of your dormant powers. All right, how do I activate them? I think the key is to stress your body by using your powers in different ways. So I just mix it... ...it up while I'm frying the militia? That's it? Try it out. I spotted a squad hold up near your position. themselves some more deviants. If you don't do something, those folks are going to be target practice.
too shabby, brother. I'm gonna miss your other lightning, though. Had a classic feel to it. Looking back, free. It stands to reason that your other powers should be able to grow in similar ways. All right, this is great, Quo. I'll monkey around a bit, see what I can come up with. I'm glad you're making progress, Cole, because I'm not. I lost the trail on Wolf, and the clock is ticking. Once the militia get what they want out of him, he is as good as dead. We ain't gonna take down the beast without that guy. He's the whole reason we're here. Calm down. If we can get Bertrand to talk, he'll know where Wolf is. Who? Joseph Bertrand, the leader of the militia. He's an elusive guy most of the time, but tonight he's giving a speech in front of St. Ignatius. Don't think we got a choice. We need to grab that fella after his speech and find out where he's hiding Wolf. Okay. Time to meet Mr. Bertrand. Better than you deserve. How long will that hold him? Zeke, I'm in position for the rally, but I'm gonna stay out of sight until Bertrand takes the stage. I'll meet you inside. Mm -mm, low profile. Got it. What did I miss? Basically, Bertrand's been telling everyone that, uh, you're the devil. Oh, nice. Our forefathers led and died in defense of this city. And history called upon them to stand against the enemy. Did they cower? No, they fought to the last. Get the hell out of here. Figure something else out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, we gotta do this now, man. Otherwise, he's gonna kill Wolf. <sighs> you don't have to stay here. Hey, man. I ain't going nowhere. Not there. These fine young men are the guardians of this city. And they are all that stands between you and the freaks. <laughs> and as God is my witness, we shall hunt them down and destroy them all! Know what to do. Get out of my way. The devil's coming through.
can still catch him. Another time, McGrath. I can't keep up with one foot. We need to get to some higher ground. Time you and I have a chat? I got nothing to say to you. Freak. Cut the crap. You're gonna take me to Wolf. Now. Wait, wait. If I were you, I'd be more worried about my head. again. Damn, man. Quo never told us this town was overrun by a pack of inbred, shirtless crocodile freaks. Oh, man, I know. That's pretty cool, right? Oh, completely. Totally makes up for the militia being here. And it even gets better. Man, I think I might have stumbled onto a lead to Wolf. I overheard some folks talking about a strange device they found down on Gaffney Street. All right, cool. I'll give it a look.
I found something stuck to a wall. Maybe it's nothing, but you can't be too careful in this town. He's making bombs out of flash shards. That's all the more for you to collect, right? Man, I hope the EMTs know what they're doing. Could have been me. <laughs> it's just one thing after another. Red wire, then blue wire? Check it out! Cross the street! That blast shard's gonna be easy pickings. There are plenty of other shards, Cole. You don't need to brutalize these people. You know what, I hit up all my old connections, but the closest I have come to finding Wolf is Bertrand's interrogator. Now, the guy's currently winning it really big at Blackjack, but he should be visiting Wolf later on. I would tail him myself, but he just hit on me at the bar. They send me the casino's location. I can follow this guy from the rooftops and he'll never see me. People don't look up. Ah, good call. I'm gonna keep my distance. Yeah, people better watch out.
Eagle. I'm in position above the casino. Let me know when our guy's on the move. Might be a while. He's still doing pretty well at the table. Okay, he's on the move. Stay out of sight. Once I find where they're keeping Wolf, how are we gonna get him out? I've appropriated one of the malicious trucks. Special agent Quo. What is stealing cars of people? Section 150 of the Federal Penal Code stipulates that a law enforcement officer is authorized to commandeer a civilian vehicle in order to catch a suspect, escapee, or prevent a crime. <laughs> Penal Code. <laughs> The interrogator's heading into the Tan House on 8th Street. Ooh, getting a vehicle out of that area won't be easy. The militia set up roadblocks all along the canal. Okay. You head in and get Wolf. I'll break up the roadblocks. Okay. Work fast. First road box clear. I'm headed for the second. Good. I'm almost in the house. Now this is gonna move fast, Cole. Be ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
Big-ass, filthy mole monsters. For once, I am not the biggest freak in town. Cole, I got Wolf. We're moving for the truck. I'll see you there. You're gonna want to hurry. I think we tripped the alarm on the way out. Dr. Wolf, glad you're still in one piece. More or less. Bertrand's interrogation methods can be quite creative. He tortured you? What did you tell them? Hey, we need to go. Plenty of time for talk later. Dealing with the position. See you later, old timer. Bertrand. put a lot of effort into making you dead. What is it they don't want you talking about? Bertrand had funded me to make something for him. A device that would solve both our problems. The blast course would just start. We will not allow Dr. Wolf to play for the other team. Oh no, no, no! thing is the militia carried Quo away, but at least she was alive. Wolf, he was gone. And without him to guide me to more blast cores, I won't be far behind. Hell, at that point, just crawling my way into the storm drain was a trial. 
That thing from Empire City, I can feel it. It's coming for me. Now I got no way to fight back. Yeah. What the hell happened? Militia got Quo. And Wolf's dead. Dead? Look, man, I don't really feel like talking right now. Oh. Well, I'll see you later. Hey, Cole. 
What do you want, Zeke? Cheer up, man. Things have been a crap ton worse for us than this. We always get by. I don't know. I feel a little low on options here, Z. Like it or not, that beast, it's gonna be my responsibility. <laughs> now, Wolf, the only person who could help me kill it is dead. Come on, we... We still got the RFI. That thing's a paperweight without blast cores. How are we gonna find them? I don't know. Yet. But I'm... I'm working on it. <laughs> so what's with the binoculars, Zeke? Spying on some chick in the shower? Not this time. I think I found Quo. Heard some gal escape the lynch mob and took off through the swamp. Probably hiding back in one of those bootlegging shacks they got back there. All right. I'll go check it out. Thanks, man. It's good work. <laughs> Hey, Quo, you in here? Quo! Plenty more shacks around. These folks love their moonshine. to make moonshine. Yankee pig! Whoa, come on out!
Whoa. 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 One of these fools. I thought it was kind of pretty. Why? You like pretty? Yeah, big. Ah, I saw you. All you gotta do is help me break a few crackers. Oh, yeah, because you look like a real damsel in distress. It ain't about needing help. I just want a little company. My name's Nix. All right, Nix. Lead the way. I... And that I can't do. There's a militia lynch mob this way. <laughs> Never thought I'd be running with the team. Be a little sneaky about getting up there.
Fuck the banners, man! Do it! <laughs> Where are you gonna run? See you again? Tommy. We got a little something in common. Unbelievable. Overheard a little of the chatter between you and the loon. You think it's a good idea to run in with someone like that? Might be a mess you can't clean up. Hey, man. Got a blast core out of it. Let's meet up before you spark that thing. I'll watch your back while you're sleeping it off. Besides, I got a surprise for you. They captured half the force and now they're waiting for the firing squad. We have to get them out. I call for backup. This way. Get this.
Looks just like Cole. Cole? Get your hands up, you deviant subhuman homo sapien! You join the militia? Now, oh, it's more like a Zeke Dunbar. Double agent. You get it? I'm a spy. For our side. Right. Oh, ye of little faith. Well, my face been shaken before, Zeke. <laughs> Thought that was water under the bridge. Come on, man. You ready for that blast core? I better not wake up in a militia cage. Come on, man. I got your back. Glad you're awake. There's some idiots down there shooting up anything that moves. Yeah, I'll take care of them. They'll give me a chance to see if I got anything to do. It's, uh, it's Rayfield energy. That guy must have been around when they were testing the sphere or something. I tell you guys, spying on this militia, man, it's taking years off my life. But boy, is it worth it. <laughs> you found out where they're keeping Quo. Bertrand's got all his veterans protecting an old cane plantation. Word is, they got all the serious uh, deviants caged up in there. That's that place with a streetcar out front, yeah? That's one. Got an idea. 
We fill the streetcar up with explosives, we get it going real, real fast, we ram it through the front door, and boom! Fire will make a great diversion. But, uh, folks left caged up there will be burned alive. Oh, come on, Zeke. I mean, if we do this thing with any sort of precision, we're gonna need a much bigger team. Mm. Militia's been parading around cages full of cops. These guys used to fight against them. You think we break them out? Give them guns? Wait, 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 wait. Free cops? No, no, no. If we do that, I'm out. Now think about it, Cole. Putting some ex-cops back on the street? Hell, I could pay off in the long run. Screw that, man. Don't you want to see that place burn, baby? I know you do. Whatever. It's your call, Chief. Don't get soft on me, Cole. Those cops will turn on your first chance they get. Let's burn that place down. You're packing a lot of heat just to humiliate some police. It'll be worth it. The cops in those cages are just a fraction of who they got back at the plantation. Bust those boys out, you're gonna have a hard time holding them back. <laughs> we'll see.
Join me in attacking the plantation. Bring your friends. Grab a rifle off one of those militia. Let's go! Make the pain! Head to that carriage house out back! I think that's where they got her. Check that out! Don't let him inside! Stupid turn! No mercy!
mortar? Can't get her out with guns like that around. The air inside was freezing, and only got colder going down. Well, it was easy to spot, but hard to look at. Bertrand had bled her dry and filled her up again with God knows what. Getting the restraints off, that was easy. Nothing 20,000 volts couldn't handle. But walking away, I don't know. I got the feeling maybe I'd overdone it a little. That machine, you were hooked up to it. What the hell was it? Not now. You all right? Let's just get out of here.
three sleeping pills later and she's finally out. When are you gonna get some sleep? No time soon. Right now I need to get the power back on in Ascension Parish. I keep picturing Bertrand holed yeah. up over there, laughing about what he did to Quo. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'd start with the transformer near the canal. It shouldn't be too hard to fix. <laughs> After all, you got electrical superpowers. Okay, Zeke. I think I found it. All right. Now, somehow Militia managed to isolate that transformer from the rest of them over in Ascension Parish. Oh, maybe I could bridge this one to the next one. All right, Zeke, I got the next transformer going. Good, get on over to a Pronto. It'll take a while for the voltage to build. Militia is sure to try to shut that thing down before the relays reset the condenser. Really? Relays reset the condenser? Hey, man, you in college prep? I took shop classes. So, uh, who's the dummy now? Oh, I hate being off the grid. Makes me, I don't know. Careful in there, man. Ain't nowhere to reach out. Hey, Cole, I picked up some militia chatter on my squad box. They are riled up like a bunch of fire ants, and they're headed right towards you. Can't hit the most transformer burns up. We'll never get off again. One down, two to go. Hey, how's Quo doing? It's weird, man. Her skin's as cold as a dead man's balloon knot. If I wasn't watching her breathe, I'd swear she was dead. You don't sound too worried. Actually, man, reminds me of taking care of you after the blasting empire. But, uh, me and Trish were worried sick for nothing. Got it, too.
Finally. So, Zeke, you really think Quill might have powers? You think she might be like I was after the blast? I don't know, man. Maybe. Hey, I'm sorry to have brought up Trish like that out of nowhere. I know it's a sore subject. It's fine. I'll live with my mistakes. Oh yeah, there we go. Those militia goose steppers just kidnapped some girl from the slums. I mean, broad daylight and everything. You should find her, man. You'll look like a stud. Get a bunch of converts to your fan club.
towns throughout the Northeast are being ordered to evacuate as the unidentified menace from Empire City continues to move south along the coastline. The phenomenon has struck more towns and cities since the Empire event, all with the same devastating results. According to its current path, the threat is likely to bypass our nation's capital over the weekend. But President Navarro stated that he isn't taking anything for granted. Washington, D.C. has been placed on high alert, with over 5,000 National Guard reserves standing by, ready to offer disaster aid or military defense if need be. down. <gasps> we gotta find Uncle LaRoche. Why? He's like you. He ain't afraid to fight the militia. You're gonna be fine.
tried to feed me to it. Oh, I understand why the militia is making these sacrifices, but not with my kin. What? You knew about this? All right. You'll understand when you're older. I will not! Now don't... Sarah. He run with you. He saved me. There were hundreds of those monsters. He fought them all. He can do stuff like you never seen. Demon of Empire City. Oh, easy. You both want the same thing here? Pretty much? You want the militia out of your house? I'm tired of getting shot at. We say we work together. <laughs> I still don't like what you're selling, but you've got my attention. Lord knows my boys think you can walk on water. Heal any of our wounded, and you'll see we know how to return a favor. All right, that's a start. And, uh, thanks for saving my niece. No problem. Shocker? Quo's up and about. You guys really need to meet up. She's got something to give you. Don't worry.
Don't shoot! I'll do what you want! <laughs> We're going to turn this place around. That is a really new look for you. <laughs> yeah, you you like it? Oh. Did forget a cape, but uh <laughs> come on, it's a little extreme, don't you think? I'm not an agent anymore. Looking at the new me. <laughs> it's uh a little hard to hide. Well, you alright? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. But it's uh, it's cute that you care. Ow, damn it! I'm 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 really sorry. I didn't. I don't. You've got to learn how to control your powers. Get it? It's fine. You just need some time. All right. Believe me, if anybody knows what you're going through, it's me better than anyone. No, you don't. Look, Brad, you don't know. We are not the same. You got your powers in an explosion. It was over in a flash. What they did to me was slow. And we are going to make Bertrand pay for that. But if we're going to fight him together, you have to get control of your powers. Don't yell at me! I don't know how. I've been at this longer than you. I can help you. <laughs> I 
Okay. Okay. You're right. When do we start? We're gonna start right now. Let's see what you can do. Well, I can fly. Okay, if you're trying to make me jealous, it worked. Some of Wolf's notes talked about the theory that two conduits, compatible ones, might be able to combine their powers. Oh, that sounds interesting. I, I've actually done a few things with Nyx. Please stop. I do not want to hear anything about that. Oh. Hold up, Militia. Let's try out Wolf's theory. Combine our powers. Now! <laughs> it's a, it's a <laughs> oh, <laughs> Our powers do combine. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to remember that one. Let's try something else. There's more of them. <laughs> Ali you. So, Cole, I have been reading over the notes that I dug out of Wolf's lab, and everything points to a black core hidden somewhere around here. Nice job, Quo. Where's it at? Yeah, his notes are intentionally cryptic, but he did have a photograph attached. I've already sent it to your phone. Thanks. Let's, uh, let's look around. Maybe we'll find where it was taken. Wolf must have hidden the core around where the photo was... You know what, let's check these coffins. Maybe we can pry open the lids. Not a problem. I give up, I give up! Ah, no blast core, just another photo. Wolf was paranoid. But considering what happened, I'd say he was justified. Maybe Bertram wants the blast core too. Could be why the militia's poking around. We better keep looking. Yeah.
What the? What's with the graveyard? Why is it so packed? You didn't know? It's, uh, it's the same plague that you dealt with in Empire City, only it's, it's more lethal now. It worked its way all the way down the coast, so it was only a matter of time before it hit Numeray. Now it is raging out of control. So many people are sick or dead already. There are more bodies than people can bury. Wow. Maybe the beast isn't the worst thing that could happen to this town. Wait, something is strange. I'm, I'm feeling... I, I don't know. These guys escaped Bertrand's lab the same time we did. They've got powers just like you. I thought they had powers. Oh, God. That's what they did to me. Bertrand must have a way of answering powers.
bus before getting out there. Stop. That was not so bad, using powers. <laughs> I'll tell you, Quo, you got a bright future as a deviant freak. Thanks for your help. I feel... I feel better. Hey, you're gonna get used to it. I promise. Maybe. I'll see you around, Coach. Last core on by. We'll try it out. I wish everyone acted like you. I bet he knows how to party. See that? Now he's the real deal. Detective Dunbar. <laughs> you on a stakeout? Ah, uh, sorta. Remember that machine that Bertrand used on Quo? I heard it's being moved around. I'm guessing it'll end up here. Huh. Hey, listen. You mind sticking around while I sleep this thing off? No, oh, man, I ain't going nowhere. <coughs> you all right? Yeah. Fit as a fiddle. It's a big ass fiddle. Good? I'm starting to feel it. That's what I've been missing. Oh, 
Nice. Baby, you want to play a little show and tell? I got something that'll blow your mind. Better watch those feet. Gators aren't the worst thing in the water these days. Too bad. Nice day for a skinny dip. Ooh. Go right ahead. I'm not stopping you. You want to tell me what this is all about? I grew up out there. It must have been rough. It's a whole other world. Only people I ever knew were thieves and crazies, and poor like you never seen. My mama was all that. Used to be. What happened next? That's what I'm gonna show you. First, we gotta get you a boat. And these good old boys, they got a real nice boat. <laughs> I know the way, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hard drive. You just enjoy the view. Those are new. See the towers ahead? All right. Let's take it slow. Swamp things are pissed. They just defended their territory. The militia won't last long out here. Move it, man! I will cast off without your ass! Monsters, the mosquitoes out here. Maybe that's why the monsters are in. Trying to keep the swamp freaks out of the city. Maybe. Looks like another militia camp. 
Go punish these fools so we can get moving. My pleasure. Poor bastards. Glad I wasn't here to see this play out. Hey, man. I saw some moving on the far shore. Oh, great. in a boat. We need to get the hell out of here. Stay on board, man. Ain't nothing we can do but ride it out. They're tearing the boat apart. Sit tight. We're almost there.
think we're good. What the hell was that thing? Never stuck around to get a look. Anyhow, we here. The wheel shows up ahead on foot. Nyx was dead quiet as she led the way. Right out onto... I couldn't believe it. A little slice of Empire City. Through a pained voice, Nyx described what had happened here. She told me about Bertrand with the Ray Sphere and a ring of outcasts. They were prostitutes and swamp dwellers, anybody whose death he thought would go unnoticed. Nyx watched as her family was swallowed up in the blast. Afterwards, only the two of them remained. Clearly, Nyx had been a conduit, her body capable of absorbing the Ray Sphere energy, unleashing her powers. Same thing's gotta be true for that supposed human purist, Bertrand. Heading back to town, I couldn't stop thinking about it. If Nyx, at the edge of the blast, was made into such a powerhouse. What about Bertrand? The guy at the dead center? I had to show that to somebody. Just to prove it was real. Figured the demon would understand. We're gonna get Bertrand next. Oh, I know. It's just that all. Look, I gotta go punch something. Been driving that damn boat too long, you know? Guys, got some big news. It's time we huddle up. Hey, Cole! Thought that was you. 
What's up, man? So, he's all here. What's the big secret, Zeke? It is official. Transfer device is somewhere in Fort Philippe. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? <sighs> Little girl's just pissed, because Butch trying to copy her powers onto a bunch of nobody. It's be destroyed. We need to destroy it. Wait. No, 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 no. No way. We keep it for ourselves. Rip off the powers from everybody else, yeah? You don't understand. I don't understand what, bitch? That you feel <sighs> used and violated by a machine? You know what? I have known you five hey, minutes break and it, I'm break sick it. Of Use it. It doesn't matter if we don't get the damn thing. Now listen to me. Fort Philippe is huge. It's gonna take an army to get in there and cover the exits and sweep the interior. <sighs> we could team up with LaRoche and his men. Yeah? Why are they gonna help us? <sighs> Textbook Hearts and Minds campaign. We give them something they really need. Yeah, like my foot up their ass. <sighs> like food, like shelter, like, like antibiotics. I haven't seen any of the militia suffering from the plague. Bertrand must be hoarding all the meds. Oh, then that is what we give to LaRoche. I made a map of all the militia patrols. Maybe it'll help you find the stash. I would love to see that. Come on. Perfect. Good work, Quo. This is great. You guys, this is gonna work. What? Give away medicine, man? No, 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 no. That's just gonna make those folks stronger. We need them angry and dependent on us. And how are we gonna do that? I say, you dress me up like one of my militia guys, and I go on an ass-kicking spree. Oh, <laughs> you mean a massacre. <laughs> Whatever, man. Then you swoop in and save the day. You'll be a hero to those idiots. <laughs> what you think, baby? Oh, I think you're crazy. I think you like it. plan is going to backfire. You know it. If you want the Rebels' help, we need to earn their respect. Don't you want them to respect us? Oh, come on. Cole's plan sucks. She wants to help everyone else but us. We play it my way. I can make you a god to these fools. Got any leads on Bertrand's medicine stockpile? Yes, I do. Get on top! I know where we
we can find LaRoche. Fry him! Calm down. We've got superpowers, remember? A clear path. to me about her plan. She made the right choice coming to me. Oh man, she's pure crazy. Dressing up like militia to kill rebels and start a war. Straight out of a comic book. Oh, I agree. Must we show up with something the rebels really need? Like these medical supplies? Oh, they're gonna love us. Oh, I'd settle for some acceptance. Listen, Flo, well, you're not a freak. You're still you. You just happen to have ice in your ass. Wow, that's... That's, that's really sweet. Almost there. Rath? That you surfing an ambulance? Mr. 
Mr. LaRoche, we have come with medicine for you and your men. You brought in more than medicine, you stupid girl! This place used to be a secret! They can't lose with you on their side. Let's like clean out the fort. Not together we'll force Bertrand out of Ascension Parish. Got much of a choice since y'all blew our hideout. They'll wipe us out if we don't get them first. Besides, I owe you for the medicine you brung us. Some of my boys are real, real sick. I'm gonna start prepping for the assault. You let me know when you're ready to attack. Dumb rednecks keep firing at us from their boat. Ain't there something you could do?
ain't no way. This guy can do a show in Vegas. We're studying the swamp creatures, but we need fresh tissue samples for testing. I saw some digging around in the graveyard. Can you help us? This doesn't make sense. Excuse me. I know what you're thinking. I'm a god. I don't need life insurance. But just think of your friends, your loved ones. If they're like me, they probably pray every day for your death.
friends, you've heard the news, seen the picture. <laughs> Sorry, Empire City, used to smoking, leveled to the ground by the unholy power. <laughs> We all work together, whatever he should I saw Swamp Monsters heading to Ascension Parish. If we don't get there first, it will be a massacre. I see him.
prams. The militia just led a bunch of captives into the swamp. I suspect they used them for bait while hunting monsters. Let's go. Got you.
Good work today. Moments like this make being a conduit almost bearable. My fault, sorry. I was in your way. Those rednecks are taking people off the streets and marching them away. The ones they take, nobody ever sees again. You have to find them and stop them.
Maybe. Cole, can you come here? Help! Excuse me. I just want to help you. I can handle myself in a fight. Give me a chance and I'll prove myself to you.
he isn't. Friends, you've heard the news, seen the pictures. Empire City, reduced to a smoke. Cole McGrath, a name that will forever live in infamy now. It is my bad. Excuse me, I'm just a left evil man. Ah, Cole. Ooh. Everything's in place. LaRoche and his men are great. Oh, my God. Can you, can you focus for five minutes? <sighs> All day. I can't... What's the plan? Well, once you two take out the turrets, me and my man will pour in. We'll start tearing things up. Get you back to your gizmo. That gizmo's a transfer device. Tell you guys to watch where they're shooting. Yeah, my boys do tend to be a bit rowdy. God love them. You help us get rid of the militia. That thing will be all yours. Ours to smash into pieces, right? Oh, we swap powers, yeah? Why do you come up with the worst all right, ideas? We'll, we'll decide that later. We gotta figure out how we're gonna take over this fort. Well, like the pervert said, you and I were gonna open up the north side. Afterwards, I'm gonna help sweep the interior. Yeah, and then you and me, we're gonna spread peen in the oh, south. What's the matter? You two lovebirds don't wanna work side by side? Oh, you know, I don't know. Uh, you want us to fight each other or the militia? Oh. -ho. If I get a vote, I love a good cat fight. You know, some of that fingernail action, hair pulling. Watch yourself. I will shoot you. Did that before. How about you? Yeah. Oh. Okay. That was weird. Let's move in.
Hey, uh, Zeke? Yeah, I see it. The closest transformer's over near the construction yard. I'll send you the position. All right, thanks, man. Oh, one more. in business. Go, baby. You ready to cripple these boys? Oh, I almost feel sorry for these guys. Almost. We're getting pounded by mortars out here!
found the transfer device. The boys have wheeled it out for a big bonfire. I'm gonna enjoy watching this thing burn. How does it work? Power it on, you strap yourself in and suffer while it rips your insides out. Oh, blast core. Ah. Shred me in. Yeah. Oh, well, wait a second. I thought we were going to talk about this, Cole. You want a new power? How about one of mine? How about I get one of yours, huh? No. Hey, you got to admit, it makes sense to swap powers. The stronger we are as a team, the more we get done. Look at what we did today. Bigger is better. This is, this is not... All right, hey. Nix and I will swap powers, and then we'll destroy it. I promise. No. No, if, if you're going to swap powers with anyone, it needs to be me. You pick her when we're through, man. You pick her? I have no choice, Cole. I have to hunt you down like a criminal. Oh. <sighs> well, we make a good team. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. I'll be right here with you. And all we've been through together, you're gonna pick that frigid bitch over me. Screw you. One. I was fine before we hooked up. I'm gonna be fine after. Two. I hope you and that bitch make each other real happy. Three. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Somebody shoot that chopper! It's coming for Bertrand! Oh. Bastard was oh. hiding out in the south way! Ow! Ow! Bertrand! She took off after that chopper, man. Went down pretty hard. And, uh, Bertrand's on the run. Did she get any of my powers? Nope. The thing just blew up. But, uh, you know, it was worth a shot. Yeah, I think it was.
Jojo, you hearing this? Convoy's moving without you. You took the green wire. Friends. Oh, you the man. Freaking electric circus. Level to the ground by the unholy power of one man. Hey, do you date normal girls? <laughs> you have really nice eyes. I can't die. <clears throat> oh, there is no way he's walking away from this one. Hey, old man! Breathing in here?
like that? Stinking gas, the howling, it was nothing compared to the filth inside. Bertrand, I alone saw his true face. Oh, that guy can run all he wants, it doesn't matter. I know his secret. And I am coming for him. Trend over in Flood Town. I'm guessing you want to head on over. I'll get the Transformers ready for you. to bring the power back on in Flood Town. Look, I know you need help out there, but I'm after Bertrand. Oh, <laughs> two birds with one bullet, huh? Oh, I like the way today's shaping up. People in Flood Town have had it rough. When the levees broke, we lost everything a person could lose. Our homes, our past, our loved ones. I, I lost my wife. Somehow that flood didn't stop us from helping our neighbors. Somehow it brought out the best of us. It's the flood. Then Bertrand's militia, now these ice freaks. Oh, it's about time these people caught a break.
guys do? Word in the militia is that those ice guys used to be mercenaries. Came here all the way from South Africa. Ever since you busted them out of that underground lab, they've been acting crazy. Attacking everyone they come across in Flood now. I'm guessing they lost their minds after what Bertrand did to How's it feel being this wrong, Cole, baby? Hey, Nick. What's up, Cole? Everybody screws up sometimes. The bigger the man, the lower he may fall. Maybe it's a one-time thing. Or maybe you just a fool. I think God's work. Not yet. Just don't screw up again, all right?
she must have met our new landlords out here. Used to be the militia controlled flood town. Now these ice goons have been taking over. Why would anybody fight over this place? That no offense. They've been tearing flood town apart since they got here. Looking for something. street is he found a cure for the plague i'm heading over figure i'll help out you should join us Guys, what's up? Oh, man. Well, you showed up just in time. What a bad way here, brother. Bad way? I thought we found a cure for the plague. Hell, 
there ain't no cure. You know, everybody in flood town's dying of it. Look, all we're trying to do here is ease their pain before they check out. Only trouble is, anyone trying to pass through a town gets jumped before they can reach us. Damn swamp monsters. I set up some new defenses around the camp. We ain't got near enough juice to get them going. Hoping you could help us with that. Well, I'm gonna sure as hell try. Help me out, man. I'm Here we go. Something out there just tripped a motion sensor. You ready to get to it? I'm on my way. Hey, I'm getting close. Good. You're looking for the spotlight I mounted on the roof. Alright, found it. Now, what the hell do I do with it? Shine it on swamp monsters, burn them to dust. What else? You do know it's a spotlight, right? I do know that. I'm very aware of that. However, it's a healer UV spotlight. Both do. I'm calling it the Dunbar Beam. Shine it on swamp monsters and you get crispy critters. Anyone else just gets a nice golden brown tan. Maybe a touch of the melanoma, but hell, they're sick already. Oh man! That's the alarm on the west side! I'm down, I'm on it. Oh man, Zeke, this ball like kicks ass. Yeah, you mean the Dunbar beam? I'm not going to call it. Too many of them. Hang in there, Cole. 
Save as many as you can. We're counting on you. Come on. Guys, this ain't working. You've done all you could out there, Cole. Fall back to the camp. Maybe if we all rally together, we can still save this place. Grab your loins, brothers. Here they come. We're in the clear. Oh, you and your partner did some real good here tonight. That last four is yours. After you do me one more itty bit, a little favor. We'll talk to you.
People notice when you treat them with respect like that. Those ice freaks lit fire to the wells. Hey, you should be near a well cap. If you use that to snuff out the flames, we'd all appreciate it. Then we're gonna talk about that blast core, yeah? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. Now, we only got the one cap, and the next well's halfway across Floodtown. Oh, fantastic. <coughs> <coughs> Bellevue is what they call this neighborhood back before the flood. Oh, a lot of memories here. I still love this place. Yeah, it's got character. <laughs> listen, listen, I gotta be responsible for these people. I, I gotta consider every angle. These ice, they're worse than a militia. They set fire to the well. Who would do that? Getting the blast core is going to help both of us. And you want to give it to these animals? Have you lost your mind? You done right by us. You can put out these fires. We'll do right by you.
You guys caught all that? Loud and clear. Seems like there's a link between Bertrand and the swamp monsters. We need to investigate that rail yard. Yeah. I should never have doubted you, son. The people of Flood Town owe you more than I can say. We all do. If you get a chance, you might want to visit your buddy Zeke. Got a little something for you. Thank you. 
Ooh, look what I found. Out. You're gonna be fine.
Whoa. Password for the clubhouse? Yeah, don't shoot my ass. Don't shoot my ass. Entree vous. Guys, I have got news. I was sifting through the wreckage back at Wolf's lab and I found one of his journals. Turns out the RFI, he initially created it to cure the plague. What? How? Well, according to Wolf's analysis, the plague is it's caused by radiation poisoning. Rayfield radiation. It's a Rayfield inhibitor. <laughs> Coal fires it up. Wipes out the radiation. The plague is gone. Hallelujah! <laughs> Here's the blast core we got from La Roche. Maybe this will be enough to fire it up. Let's hope so. Zeke, how many of those has he absorbed so far? Ooh, Do you have any idea? I don't know. I just... Rayfield radiation is caused by a ray sphere blast. <laughs> Cole, I know what you are what thinking. What I did in Empire City. I caused the plague. We're gonna cure this thing, brother. Yeah. Does this happen every time? Is he okay? Don't worry, he'll be all right. Ah, uh, what? Hey, how you feeling, brother? Juice for this thing. A couple more blast cores, and I should be ready to go. Well, get out there and see what you got. I'll just uh, hold down the fort. All right, see you in a bit. Yeah, that's gonna work out just fine. Might be a good time to come back to the freight car. Zeke and I were drawing up some plans when Nick showed up. And, uh, yeah, we could use you. Yeah. 
Those ICE soldiers are launching raids from a base camp near here. Let's go. Yeah. Those ice soldiers are launching raids from a base camp near here. Let's go. Stay sharp.
The raids from the ice gang are getting worse, yet Bertrand continues to go to this train yard all the time. Weird. Why would a rich bastard like Bertrand want to get his shoes all muddy in a place like that? I am still working on that. Can we get him on one of his visits? No, they are completely random. Oh, I know what he's up to, but she don't listen, Cole. Hey, Nix, how about you let the grown-ups talk for a little See, while? That's Thank what you. I'm talking about. I'm listening. <sighs> <sighs> Let's hear it, Nix. Okay. You know how Bertrand fights? Well, he got other powers, too. Those swamp freaks, they is his. You mean the monsters? He's making them. Yeah, I seen it myself. They wild at first, but then he works with them for a while, and those monsters are his. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that they bond with him? Yeah. <laughs> what, like a bear and his cubs? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Come on. Like Bertrand's their mommy? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Nix, how, how do you even, how do you even know any of this? I've been there myself. I even tried it out. I got a monster on my very own. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're saying that you have one of these as your pet right now? Poor baby. We tried to leave together, but the militia got wise. He died protecting me. Damn. Well, this is all very touching, but if... What you say is true. Wait, 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 wait a second. Are you calling hey, me a liar? Hey, 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 hey. Enough. If what you're saying is true, Cole, maybe you and I, we should go and we should collect evidence. If we can prove that that whole thing is actually going on, we can turn the entire city against Bertrand. Afterwards, freeing as many prisoners as we can. No, me and Cole is gonna go. You're gonna cover me. And I'm gonna go and bond with them monsters. Just think of the hell we can raise with an army of them things, Cole. I need to think this through. You guys be ready to act. Think what? Cole! I need them monsters, Cole. Getting a few of them will change things for me. Make things good again. Once I got them, killing Bertrand will be easy. Uh, Quo, you ready to expose Bertrand? Uh, I'm still running a bypass on this TV antenna. It's taking longer than I expected. Better leave without me. Ah, forget it. I can wait. No. No, no, no. We're running out of time. Now listen, they have guard towers all around the train yard. I found a gap where you can sneak in, but you'll have to go the long way around. Damn. 
It's like half the town's got the plague. You should get over there as fast as you can. I thought I was being sneaky. You are, but I drug the guards. This should make it easier for you to sneak around, but they will wake up soon. Hey, nice work, Quill. All right, Quill, I'm inside. Nice. Now, they are holding prisoners in what looks to be a boxcar near your position. See if you can get a picture. Nice shot. It's a good start, but we need more if we're going to bring down Bertrand. Afterwards, we'll come back and free all of these people. By the way, your powers, they, they tend to attract attention. Yeah, you know what? I've noticed that. <laughs> all right. A layoff now. Look, Cole, the guards are drugged, but they will spot you if you get too close. It's hard to believe that used to be a person. Keep them coming. Think them ice freaks are gonna kick us out of Flood Town? They keep on trying. They all keep going to town. Oh, yuck. I just got word. Bertrand is there. He's headed into the big warehouse. Nice. It could be where he's making the monsters. Maybe I can catch him in the act. Oh, if you can get that photograph, Bertrand is finished. I'm thinking of quit. Boy, what in the world do you want to do that for? It's all gone to hell. You can't see that? Damn, we're real down after a few drinks. Oh, wake up, man. The rebels keep winning every fight. We got ice cream freezing down the neck. And none of that shit is like it. Well, play it out loud. People hate it. Ever since that electric cowboy went to town. Yeah, my neighbors give me books. Turn that down, would you, Thomas? I quote, you were right. I hear Bertrand inside, but I can't see him. Just keep looking around. There's got to be some place you can get a clear shot. See where this goes. You're scared, aren't you, son? That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I understand. But you don't need to be scared. 
why don't you take a seat? That's it. Good. All right. Broadcasting the pictures right now. Finally, people get to see the real Bertrand. Just keep him on ice till I get there. We're getting a lot of calls in already. Half the city wants to join our call. Now I'm fixing to unleash hell. That's fine, just hurry. We gotta get to Bertrand before. Before he gets away. Not what we agreed on. I didn't agree to nothing. Little Miss Do Right has no say over me. They're monsters, Nix. My babies are gonna come in real handy. You'll see.
power. So much. We did good tonight, Quo. After this, it won't be safe to walk down the street in a militia uniform. This town is finally free. Yeah. But Bertrand's still out there. Ah, but every man, woman, child in New Moray knows his face. We're gonna get him. U.S., leaving thousands dead and many hundreds of thousands homeless. Whole towns are disappearing in a matter of hours as the mysterious menace responsible for the Empire event continues moving southward. While Washington, D.C. has escaped the Empire phenomenon, the threat of civic unrest is on the rise. Today, an angry sea of protesters gathered on the West Lawn of the Capitol building, demanding food, jobs, and political change. Over 30% of the American workforce is now unemployed, and food shortages have led to nationwide turmoil. The rally was held just as a special Senate committee began deliberating over the impeachment trial of President Navarro. Charges of perjury and obstruction of justice were brought against the president following a controversial investigation into the Empire City quarantine. Cole, I've just made contact with one of the members of the ICE gang, and it looks like he wants to defect and join us. Meet him on the rooftop nearby.
don't worry. I'm not like the others. I was coerced into becoming a labyrinth. The rest of them are inhuman brutes. I will help you stop them. There is a secret cache of blast shards close by. Come, I will show you. Those men guard the stash. I will join the fight, but I'm more useful if my identity remains secret. I will contact you.
exact nature of the Empire threat remains unknown at this time. But that hasn't stopped many from voicing their own theories on what is behind this wave of destruction. Is it a storm? A terror cell? An act of God? Our own meteorologist, Dwayne Culper, says the southerly route of the phenomenon goes directly against the movement of the Gulf Stream, which causes weather patterns like storms and hurricanes to move from south to north along the east coast. He says this behavior doesn't match any known weather-based activity. I just received word we've lost contact with Tad Mitchell, our correspondent at Camp Lejeune, as the Empire threat passes through North Carolina. Our prayers go out to Tad and to all the Marines stationed out there. God bless you all. Hey, pretty boy. You like going for a joy ride? Sharing in the benefits and me spying on the militia? Come on, man. Feast is almost here. We don't have time for this. Oh, that's where you're wrong, my friend. I have found us a surefire way to take down the beast. Make yourself useful. Take off those panels back there. You'll see. Think I got a problem. Jesus, is that a nuke? Learn to love the bomb, man. Old Bertrand did. He had Wolf fix up this little pocket rocket for him. I guess it was insurance in case one of his experiments went south. Way south. Woo! Jump on! Let's go! Oh, Z. You want to use this on the beast? Dude, we will blow up the whole city. Not if we hit him now, before he reaches New Marais. I already set up the targeting system on one of the harbor cranes. We just need to get the missile in position. Well, I do like big explosions. <laughs> Me too, man. Look at the horizon, man. It's him. We still got time. I'll try and keep the road clear. Man, if you know what it is, then stop shooting at it! I need you to get that thing out of the way. Hey, stop! Whoa! Stop shooting the thermonuclear missile! Dumb hicks! Now give up! Now give up! This ain't a bridge, it's a junkyard. I'm on it. Look at those gunboats over there! Ah, what are they trying to do? Blow up the city?
brother. I need you to get that thing out of the way. They're not shooting at us. Not time for this. missile's targeting system up there. You're gonna have to use it to guide the payload to the beast. Otherwise, who knows what we're gonna blow up. Oh, great. No pressure there.
for launch. Oh, man, we did it. <coughs> uh, well, it looks like... Uh, it looks like we won, all right. Zeke, where the hell are you? <coughs> uh, gas pumps. City. Kessler kicked my ass. Yeah, I ought to kick your ass. Ah, same difference. Hey, brother, I'm in no shape to walk home. Can you clear path to the truck? Hey, wait. I'll hold that up for you. No, no way. Jesus, they have knew. Now it's back to war. If I slow you down, we both die. Just go, man. We have to fight another day. Would you shut up and start walking? Yeah, it kind of looks unstable. Like it's gonna. Yeah, it is. We gotta go. Where are you? I chased Nukezilla all the way to Gasworks. Somehow, I lost him. Ah, uh, don't worry. He'll turn up again. Zeke, about to bring the power online here in the gas works. All right, I got your back. You're gonna get tagged by a couple of ice dudes on your way in. Might want to clear them out while you're at it. Yeah, come to that.
Gasworks is basically just a big industrial zone. Bertrand's oil and shipping interests really made their mark. Sure is nice. That's one. Hey Z, this place is crawling with ice condiments. 
Yeah, LaRoche's spies say they took over most of the district. Yeah, has Bertrand come out here anymore? There have been a few recent sightings. Even under fire, he's managed to keep his businesses running. Ah, oh, good. I was hoping to run into him.
Last one, Cole. Make it count. You're right about where I lost the beast. Strange, him disappearing. Oh, I'm sure he'll turn up. So far, there are no reports of fallout from the missile we launched. I guess it blew up far enough outside of the city. Once we got that. Finally. Mr. McGrath. How do you like my new security? There's no way out. It's nothing special, but it'll stop your lightning. Now, bullets, well, that's another matter. That's a pretty elaborate mousetrap, Bertrand. What do you want? I've seen the way the wind's blowing. Been watching my authority bleed away ever since you got here. And now the beast is in the array. I cannot stop that thing by myself. <laughs> but together. Oh, together. Well, we'd be heroes. Oh. I get it. That sounds real interesting. Only I have a little suspicion that the moment you got your chance, you would stab me in the back. Listen to me, Bertrand. You want me to save your city? You want me to kill the beast? Get me out of here and stay the hell out of my way. I wish I had the same faith in your abilities. But if you're not with me, well, you're against me. Boys! There is no place for you in the world, Mr. McGrath. A conduit freak with no regard for the natural order. You might have helped me with my mission. God may have forgiven you for what you are, but now, all that you are destined for is the damnation that you so richly deserve. <laughs> nice work, boys. Make sure that nobody finds the body. Hey, Quo, I'm going to need some help out here. Yeah. Fast. I'm coming, brother. Zeke? Who is this guy? Come on! Dunbar, man of action. Booyah! Crap. Okay, we'll get you out of here. Don't worry. You okay? Yeah. <sighs> hey, uh, Zeke. I've been treating you like shit. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I screwed you over pretty hard back in Empire. Get it, man. No. You've always got my back. Thank you. Look, I don't call you brother because I like the way it sounds. I should get out of here. Militia's gonna be here soon. <laughs> Ha 
almost forgot why I was heading your way in the first place. A guy I know in the militia seems to think there's a blast core tucked away somewhere over in Bertrand's warehouse. It's worth a look. Zeke, I'm at the warehouse. You sure we're gonna find a blast core here? I heard it from one of my militia buddies. They said it was in a crate stamped with the militia symbol. Found a safe in one of the crates. Woo! This will be the easiest blast core we ever got. Go on, crack it open. No, no blast cores. But I did find some property deeds to three other warehouses. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe we got the right idea, but the wrong warehouse. Hell, looks like we gotta search them all. Ice guys are out here in force. They could be after the blast core, man. Better step it up.
Got some blast shards. Still no blast core. Look, man, I'm sure there's a blast core out there. Let's keep looking. I'm trapped. Ah, okay, okay, just, uh, I don't know, climb! Get out of that crap, man, blast your way out!
nothing. Man, I'm sorry. Look, maybe, uh, maybe we should just call it a day. No, 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 no. There is one more warehouse we can try. There has got to be a reason for all this opposition. Come on, boys. Protect the merchandise. But please, don't hurt me, man. You're about to die, Harvey.
Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, guess what, Zeke? Anything good? Oh, yeah. I'm real happy. When there's a bonus. Looks like I found Bertrand's briefcase. <laughs> I thought Bertrand created these monsters simply to win back the respect of Numeray. But no. God, it is so much bigger. I see invoices for forced conduits to be shipped all over the world. Boxed product supermen for sale to any warlord with cash. Real. <laughs> this guy's gonna single-handedly start a new arms race. All nations fighting for control of people of mass destruction. That's weird, though. I mean, could this really be just about the money? When the guy just gives it all away? What's he doing? Is he trying to buy respect? Pay his way into heaven? No, oh, that makes sense. A guy like that, he's out to save the world. Some grand Old Testament kind of way. I'm just not seeing the whole picture yet. So? What was in the case? I'm still trying to figure that out. You sound tired. Did you swing on by, take a load off? Yeah, maybe I better. Show you my new blast core. Hey. Hey. I love that part. used to that yet? Well, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Well, that depends. You feel any stronger? Oh, now 
That's the way to climb. Hey, brother. I heard we're transloading something major onto the cargo ships in the harbor. Probably the first shipment of his do-it-yourself conduits. I bet those foreign powers paid Bertrand in advance. How pissed you think he'd be if I sabotage his boats? Think he'd come out of hiding? <laughs> Maybe Bertrand would get so mad, he turned into that bug thing, then we could just sit back, let him and the beast have at it. Oh man, why can't it ever be that easy? <laughs> Selfless act. Good work. Don't shoot. I'll do what you want. Add another black mark to his list of unforgivable crimes. The sin of gluttony. His very existence is unnatural, but amplifying his powers in this way could make him unstable. He may even explode. McGrath, if you're listening, I implore, no, I demand that you give up these dangerous efforts. No one wants another Empire City. If we have another blast, the power will Zeke, I'm on the waterfront. Bertrand's ships are still there. You gotta get on board and disable them before they cast off. <coughs> Try the anchor winches, man. They're electric. <laughs> Good idea. Boat locked down. Really? Think they knew what we were planning to do? And I wonder if maybe. Kind of in a fight with me. Oh, right. My bad. Full of Hold. <laughs> Maybe more. Right. So 
hope I don't wake him up. This ship's going nowhere. I'm heading to the next one. That's my boy. Yeah, they haven't invented a machine you can't break. Big gun, huh?
What the hell? It's good to see you, McGrath. John, you're dead. You're right. I was. For a while. I can still feel it. The race fear exploding. Tearing me apart. Adam by Adam. And somehow, part of me lingered on. I had to pull myself back together. Do you have any idea how hard that is? It sounds tricky. Not a ghost. You must be some sort of conduit. Why are you here? I want to show you something. You can see it now. See Where are you? Meet me at the plague. You need to see it for yourself. Lake's spreading the graph. You think it's just the reason that? It's all over the East Coast. Millions are infected. In a few weeks, it'll be worse. What about the government? They can't stop this. But we can. How? I'll show them. One of the victims in the plague war is a potential conduit. Use the power I gave you. Find her. Still, right? She is. Heal her. If you can. Nothing. These people are already dead. Nothing can be done for them. She's different. Because of the conduit gene? I have the power to save her. To activate all our kind. But not without cost. Thank you. What? Humanity is dead. Help me save what I can. Hey, 
guys. Her tree is holed up in the Malloy building, waiting for a chopper. <coughs> Too bad it won't ever arrive due to a heinous act of sabotage by yours truly. <laughs> nice work, Z. I'll ambush him on the We got him this time. If he changes into that monster again, my boys will light him up with some of them spotlights Zeke invented. Chopper is gonna be a little late. <laughs> Took you a while to find me, boy. Selling force conduits. Don't you have enough money already? The world needs to experience firsthand the evil of our kind. <laughs> what? You're trying to scare people? Yes. Conduits must be cleansed from this earth. So you're gonna kickstart a genocide? Conduits are an abomination. Oh, do you really think that I'm the demon? The demon of Empire City? No, Cole. I think we're both demons. Our pride has turned us into monsters. <laughs> I finally get it. Oh, you thought the race beer was gonna turn you into some sort of shiny superhuman. But instead, it turned you into a 50-foot maggot. Cole, don't press me. If I turn into that thing again, oh, there will be blood on both our hands. Blood? You're the one trying to trick humanity into killing anybody with a power. Conduits are not part of the divine plan! They are a product of science, fueled by, by man's greed and the whispering of the devil in our ears, Cole. See, that's where you're wrong, Tran. Conduits are monsters. No. See, powers don't kill people. Oh, no. It's the person behind the powers that kill people. That's right. Just an ambush, all set up. Looks like he took the bait. LaRoche, you seeing us from your chop? 
happy now, Bertrand? Not a conduit anymore. Took 30 men, 7 chainsaws, and 12 pickups, but we finally got that monster's corpse off the street. Thank you, McGrath. You've been an inspiration. Now that Bertrand's gone, the militia are falling apart, man. <coughs> Some guys are still gung-ho. But, uh, I don't think I'll be picking up much more intel after today. What? You got something? Oh, yeah. <coughs> How's another blast core sound? Meet me near the dock on 3rd Street. Zeke, you are the man. That's what I keep telling people. work. Icemen are parading around their militia captives, like they're any better. Hit them now, and I'll bet you can catch them all napping.
I knew it. I knew this was dead.
walking around with the Blast Corps as their leader. He's got to prepare him for something. <laughs> All right, then. <coughs> One more core, and I can use the RFI. <coughs> hey. <coughs> I'm fine. <coughs> hey. See. Jesus. Why didn't you tell me, Zeke? Ah, you got enough to worry about. Besides, when you use the RFI, you might be cured, right? You don't have that much time. We can go in there and get that damn core. <coughs> Looks like there's gonna be a hell of a storm. Yeah, there is. He's got the blast core. Tower. <coughs> that boy's quick.
Zeke, they got the blast corn case pretty good up here. I think they're using the tower as a lightning rod. Probably saw me cook off one of the other cores. Wacko's probably think it'll juice him up. <clears throat> Get him closer to being a normal conduit. Can you help me turn on a vent or burner or something? Something to break through the ice around the core? One step ahead of you, pal. I'll send you the valve locations as you go. <laughs> Damn, if the internet isn't a thing of beauty. Yes, it is. You never told me you were the beast. That name is motivated by fear. Are you afraid, McGrath? Have you seen the new you? We were friends once. I was hoping we still are. I could use your help. Friends. And back in Empire City, the beast almost killed me. I'm so sorry. The act of rebirth was kind of overwhelming. There was nothing but nerves and impulses, lashing out at whatever I sensed as a threat. And there was no way to threat. You're right about that. Look, you saw the truth when I cured that woman. There's no other way. Wish there was. I, uh, I just found out that Beast hit the swamp outside Bloodtown. They're all dead out there now. I mean, everything. Isn't that where Mitch keeps your pets? All that I knew about. John probably thought he could raise them up. Raise them up? What are you talking about? I'll tell you later. We gotta focus on the blast course. You didn't even heal.
Hey, there he is. <sighs> you think I'm ready for this? <laughs> way I see it, there's basically two types of people. Most of them are guys like me. Guys that sit on the couch. We may not like the shit that happens to us, but we deal with it. Guys like you. End of the road. Cheers, brother. Half as long. Twice as bright.
How do you feel? <sighs> like... Like I'm ready. That's right. Yeah. I'm ready for the RFI. Eyewitnesses report the giant creature blamed for the destruction along the eastern seaboard has been attacked by a nuclear weapon. A flash and a giant mushroom cloud were seen off the coast of New Marais early this morning. Despite a direct hit, the threat has survived and was later seen inside the city. The current whereabouts of the creature are unknown, but for the moment, New Marais still stands. The Pentagon confirms the attack stating that using nuclear weapons on American soil has always been a last resort. After the disappointing battle earlier this week, the situation has escalated, and new tactics must be brought to bear. So bad, Cole. I'm glad you made it. Listen, uh, things aren't as cut and dry as we thought. It turns out the beast is someone I knew. A conduit named John White. John is alive? Yeah. But listen, what he's doing isn't mass murder. He's using his powers like a ray sphere. Activating potential conduits, curing them of the plague. But he's killing people that aren't lucky enough to be conduits. He asked me to help him, Zeke. Help him? Your pal just killed all my babies. I know. Then do something about it, Cole. We are. Oh my God, 
I was dying. I could feel it. It didn't even fire off. It wasn't even fully charged. What the hell did you do, Zeke? What was I supposed to do? Is it broken? I don't know. Let me take a look. A wolf, he knew this was going to happen. He was setting me up to die. Well, I, I didn't know about this. If I use that thing, it's going to kill us. Kill all conduits, not just the beast. I'll die if you don't. So will millions of others. <sighs> Zeke, we don't know that the RFI will cure the plague. John's method works. I've seen it. Mm. He might be the only way that anyone lives through this. I don't care what happens to me. All I care about is that the beast dies. You need to make a decision right now. Are you gonna kill the beast? Be a man of your word. Look, John's plan is not pretty. It's not, but it's right. The conduits are immune to the plague. He needs to make as many as he can before more sick die. Think about that. I never thought Quo would lose her nerve. It's selfish. Think you can fix it? I better be able to. All right. Let's do it. Let me go! You are all gonna regret this! She's gonna be in trouble. Hey, we got bigger problems than that. This RFI is not fully charged. It's almost there. Not quite. Get it over. Now, see this broken part here? That's the power regulator. Without it, you just burn it up. It's not the end of the world. I mean, it is. But, uh, I got an idea. I guess. I'll be damned if those things ain't gonna burn up fast. But they'll charge it. I hope so. I got LaRoche putting a few more around the city. <laughs> oh, this plan sucks. <laughs> I know. Short notice, man. All right. As soon as the RFI's ready, I'm gonna flip the switch. It's not gonna be time for goodbyes. Fellas, I'll take this round, get it charged up. Wash my back, Beaver. I always do. Thank you. 
Hold tight, McGrath. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. You got work to do. I thought. The beast's making his way to the first substation. The boys are doing their best to delay him till we get over there. Like we're a little late. Damn, big. I can see the substation from here. Better go charge the RFI before he reaches it. I'm already there, man. Too late, man. Following the RFI back to the boat. Turn this thing around. Go! Fire! Fire! You two get out of here! Oh, I need to go! You're coming with us! They got abandoned, my man! Go on, we'll loosen it up for you! We lost the substation. All right. There are a couple of good ones in Smut Triangle. <laughs> Copy. Head there now. We're in position, Pete. <coughs> All right. Now, don't forget, it's going to take time to power that thing. You've got to protect it. <coughs> John could sense the RFI somehow. He'll be coming for it. How you want to play it? You're on defense. Protect the RFI. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with John. You sure? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
it. No. You gotta pay! No! Next! Next! Okay, next. Okay. You're next. Sieg. Sieg, she's dead. She's dead. You gotta keep moving, brother. Head for the substation on the cathedral. Look, <coughs> the demon. Go get him, Alexi, man. Fully charged. Go on, man. Push the button. <laughs> no. No, not just yet. Choice. Hell, Nick's even made the right choice. I was. I am scared. I am too. Do it. Do it. We all just held our breath and watched as one by one them monsters started to drop. Yeah, that RFI worked all right. News said even some folks overseas were keeling over. Poor bastards must have been conduits and didn't even know it. But it was worth it. Because for the thousands that died, Billions were gonna live. The plague, man, it was just gone. I could already hear people starting to party, just celebrating being alive. I thought my friend was gonna go down as an unsung hero. But here in New Marais, they knew what he had done for them. Who'd have guessed that the demon of Empire City would become the patron saint of New Marais? I wanted to say goodbye to him alone. He had been my best friend, and now he was gone. Sometimes 
I hear folks talking about conduits and humans like they're totally different. That's bullshit. Because there ain't nobody with more humanity than Cole McGrath. I love you, brother. And I'm sure gonna miss you.